five. So if your mirror smart plug is not responding on the home kit app, then you want to keep watching this video. In this video, I want to show you how to troubleshoot this issue. So here's my mirror smart plug here on the home app. So you can see mine right here is now responding. So to troubleshoot this issue, the first thing you want to do is to unplug your smart plug and wait 10 to 15 seconds before plugging it back in. So let's unplug it. Okay. So wait 10 to 15 seconds. So after 10 or 15 seconds, you can plug it back in. All right. And now you need to go back to the app and check if the plug is back online. In my case, it's not back online. It's still not responding. You can see it right here. So in this case, the next thing you want to do is to remove the plug and then add it up again. But before you do this, head over here and make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. Also, you want to go to your Wi-Fi settings and make sure you're connected to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Okay, so let's go back to the app right here. So tap the gear icon here and scroll a bit down. And you can see remove accessory, tap this and tap remove. So the plug has been removed and now we can set it up again. So the next thing you want to do is to unplug your smart plug again. Now plug it back in. Okay, and now you want to check if the LED light is flashing amber and green. If it's flashing, it means the plug is in pairing mode. So we can go ahead and set it up again. Now go to the app, tap the plus icon here. And now we need to scan the QR code. So get your phone. And here's the QR code right here. So get your phone and point it this way. Okay. So once you scan the QR code, this is what you're going to see on your screen. And tap Add to Home. And it's setting up. This is going to take a few minutes. So we need to wait a few minutes. Okay. Once you see that solid green light, it means the setup is almost complete. So a few more seconds. And that's it. The setup is complete. And tap Continue. You can rename your plug here and tap continue. So select how you want it to display. In my case, I want to go for light and tap continue, tap done. So that's it. So let's see if the plug is back online. Of course, it's back online. You can see it's back online and it's now responding. So that's how to troubleshoot this issue. What you need to do is to remove the plug and then set it up again. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful. And if so, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.